Well, good afternoon, Funky Bunch, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Uh, today we got a package in the mail, and this one is the uh, Mezco Toys uh, that I have been waiting for. Ordered this back in October, um, and this is actually, uh, I believe his name is Sam from uh, the cult classic, uh, Trick or Treat. <clears throat> now, I personally have not seen this movie, um, but from what I understand, it has a pretty big following, so it is one that I myself am going to have to actually take a look at. Um, I do um, like the look of this figure. Saw it online, and uh, I've seen not just the figure online, but I've seen uh, posts around Halloween um, through uh, horror groups that I belong to on Facebook, uh, collectible groups and stuff like that. Um, I've seen this guy, and... Thought he looked pretty awesome, uh, so I started looking into the movie a little bit, and I guess that this guy has the ability to, um, I guess, either transform into your worst uh, nightmares or maybe make you see your worst nightmares. If you happen to have seen this movie, um, I'd love your input on the character, go ahead and leave some comments down below and uh, educate me a little bit. But the movie again is called Trick or Trick or Treat, Trick or Treat, and uh, his name is Sam, straight from the cult film Trick or Treat, comes Sam, the enforcer of the rules of Halloween, part pumpkin, part supernatural being. Sam shows no mercy to those who show disrespect for this holiday. This Sam is presented in Mezco's signature super deformed style. He may look childlike and dress for trick or treating, but Sam is the personification of Halloween itself. He stands nearly six inches tall and features five points of articulation. He, complete, he comes complete with his ever present trick or treat sack and his half eaten translucent pumpkin lollipop. So, uh, I really liked the look of this figure. Uh, it comes with some cards, uh, like the Pinhead did, hyper-stylized Pinhead. Uh, the Trick or Treat Sam, this one actually is um, showcasing the 15-inch tall version with the, the um, pumpkin sack head. The looks like it's all the same cards as was in the um, Pinhead unboxing that I did so I won't go through and showcase all of those again. Let's go ahead and get right into this figure. I want to be careful with the box and right on time there goes the phone ring ring ringing. I don't know how people know to call right when we are getting into our uh, unboxings. It's kind of annoying, but uh, I'll tell you what, just so that it doesn't uh, sound off on the video, I'll go ahead and pause a minute, let that go through, and then uh, I'll go ahead and cut this whole section.
Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and open up the box, trying to be careful with it so that it doesn't tear. And pull this guy out and see what he looks like. <clears throat> From what I can see in the box, he is adorable. Now, <clears throat> Now, this guy, <laughs> I'll be able to put on the desk next to my pinhead. Uh, for those of you who saw the Chucky unboxing, my plan was to put Chucky on the desk next to pinhead, but Joshua overheard us explaining Chucky and uh, freaked him out a little bit, so I had to take Chucky to work. <laughs> and uh, get him out of the house. But this guy, <laughs> this guy I don't think he will mind too much at all. So his articulation, mostly because he's cute, his articulation, his head turns back and forth, um, rotates around, looks like it's on a ball joint. Um, not too big a ball joint. It can go back and forth, rotate around, and his arms, Go back and forth, smaller, looks like ball joints. Um, and then his feet are molded as one piece with his jumpsuit. And then his hands look like they rotate around um, on some ball joints. So the fingers are molded as one piece. The head is molded as one piece. Um, and the bodysuit is molded as one piece. So those are the five points, the head, the arms, and the hands. And then he's got, he's got the onesie on. And I'll come over and give a, uh, a closer up of this so you can see him. But then he's got his little sack that he can hold on to for his trick-or-treating. And it looks like that would probably go in this hand because this hand is tighter as far as, no, maybe not, maybe that would be the hand for a lollipop. No, oh, it fits. So his hand for the bag. <laughs> and then his hand for the lollipop. And it probably would have been better going the other way, but... Uh, <laughs> This guy is cool looking. I like that. I love the lollipop. The lollipop is awesome with the uh, translucence to it. For those of you who've been watching us for a long time, you know that I am a sucker for things that are shiny, that are glittery, or that are uh, clear like this. So that is... That is fantastic. So let me come around, show you guys this Sam figure close up. <clears throat> Give you a good view of it. So here we go. Get him up here and put him in focus. There we go. So you've got a burlap sack for a head with some sewn in button eyes. I'm going to come in close and give you a good good view of his sack head so that's really cool the way the the seams on the sack are sewn in for the smile and the eyes looks uh, I mean it's all plastic molded but the way that it's uh, put together it really looks like burlap and thread really done well and the way that the the uh, plastic or the fabric is folded in around those button eyes it gives it a real good look and around the base how the bag or the the fabric would uh bunch up around the neck really well done um so take a look there first around the head area even the sewing along the seam in the back there and then you've got his outfit um, his little 
uh, onesie. You've got the buttons in the back for the onesie, his little feety, his little footsies, and the uh, patches that are sewn on the front. And then he's got his burlap bag and his little lollipop that's translucent that has the bite out of it for the jack-o'-lantern. And then you've got his gloves that are also burlap. So there you guys have it. Sam for the trick or treat movie. And uh... <coughs> It was not acceptable. <clears throat> there you guys have it. Sam for the Trick or Treat movie. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a like. And uh, let us know again what you think in the comments below. And be sure, if you haven't done so already, to hit that subscription button if this is your first time watching or if you've been a long time watcher and you just haven't gotten around to it yet. Thank you for supporting us. If you are already a subscriber, we greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, we will catch you on the next installment of A Very Merry Unboxing. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.